playing on the latest update or even playing on an experimental version is the best way to experience a server. In today's video, we're going to go over how to update your server on 7 Days to Die. First, we're going to log into our Bicep Toasting Games panel and choose our 7 Days to Die server. Next, we're going to choose the Stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the Startup tab. And if you want to just have the newest update, we're going to go to the Auto Update field and choose the drop down menu and select Enabled. If you want to run any other versions, we're going to go to the Beta Branch field. And if you want to run the latest experimental, we can type in latest underscore experimental or any other versions that you would like to see within the Steam DB page that you see listed below. Once we've changed it to the version we would like, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have updated a seven days to die server to the update chosen. We will now go over how to update locally to an experimental version. From our Steam library, we're gonna right click seven days to die and select properties. We're then gonna go to the betas tab and on the beta participation dropdown, we're gonna select the version that you would like to run on seven days to die. Once you exit this menu, it'll then switch to that version. And when you click play, you'll have updated it to the version you chose. Thanks for watching and check out bisectoasting.com, your ultimate gaming partner.